What's good, people? This is Sim FL Critic, and this is The Sim Standard. And what we'll be talking about today is the reason why I think motion shifting and warping is present in these games that we play. Now, you're going to see an example with 2K8, Madden 11, the demo, as well as 2K5. So looking at this example right here, you know, looking at the line, as you can see there, the, the double team, it took place, which that is fundamentally sound, but there was a shift. Now, you also will see from the receiver perspective in just a moment, I'll put the cursor on Jerry Rice, same thing will happen. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I think this happened. So, all right, we take a look at Jerry Rice here. There's the shift as they fight for position. Now, also, there's a minor shift here. See how it forces him over to the left to complete his route? You know, and that's a little bit, you know, knick-knack. I could kind of deal with that. But that doesn't, I guess that technically doesn't affect gameplay. Now, let me make my, um, give you my two points because there's a third piece to that that will happen in this particular example. But real quick, the reason why I think this happens is two key elements. The length of time of the animation, meaning how long it takes for the animation to play out. And number two would be when the animation begins. Now, EA Sports may have done something very big here with the collision-based system. And we'll get into that a little more once uh, the Madden 11 example comes up. But the third point that I think needs to be fixed, now I don't think this has anything to do with the warping, but there has to be some way in any of these games to prevent this from happening. Look what happens here. They are stuck in an animation, and because of that, it makes the game look very funky. Now, there has to be a way to respect the actual body in any scenario. There has to be a system put in place where animation can be interrupted. It has to be, because there's no reason why those two players should have warped through other players because they were completing an animation. And I don't know what it is you have to do to do, to do that. You know, I'm not a developer, I'm not a programmer, but if you can figure out a way to allow, whether it's physics or what have you, if you can allow animations to be broken, any animation, not just tackles, but any animation should have the ability to be broken, that would eliminate some of the funky looking things that we see in these games. Now, let me get back to my point since the Madden 11 demo here is available. Let's take a look. You're going to see a minor shift here. This is not that bad, but it happens. And again, people, I think this is because the animation has to play out. And because the animations typically in the games we played before, they begin before contact. This is why that happens. Now, we're going to see a very good example here using Reggie Wayne. Let's take a look. Look what happens after this interception. There's the shift. Now, EA Sports has promised that the new collision system animations won't begin until contact is detected. If that's the case, then this is a foot race. This would be a foot race. And the outcome would be a touchdown if he can outrun Reggie Wayne or a saving touchdown if Reggie Wayne can walk him down. Now, the reason why I want to point this out is just to show you this happens in all of the games. And this is why I feel like Madden 12 may, as well as NCAA, but really I'm talking about Madden. Madden 12 may be the start of a new beginning as far as the way the Madden games have played. You know, we have a brand new team. You know, we have a new GM. So, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. It's only fair. I'm rooting for this game to be good. And the reason being is because I'm tired of playing old games. You know, I want to play the current game. It's just, it's just that simple. So if the game is better, if it's in a step in the right direction, if they can make Madden 12 playable, hey, I'm right there with you. More than likely, I'll be getting the game.
Now you're gonna see another example here, and this is the last example. That right there, that happens because, again, in this game, the animation has begun before contact. So that's the key thing to remember. If they can pull off the collision-based system, if it works the way they said, if you read the blogs, and that's what was said in the interview with Cam Webber, then this should not happen. But also, on the back end, you need to speed up the length of time of the animation. The animation's taking entirely too long to play out, and that's why you get a lot of weird looking things when you play these games. All right, folks, and again, these are my opinions, these are my thoughts, but I really think that's why we see these things.